Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. We are once again diving into the world of Fallout and building another helmet like I promised in the videos past. Uh, today I'm gonna build the Disciple Spiked Helmet. It is a very unique helmet and it is in the DLC for the Nuka-Cola world. I like the design of it. It's asymmetrical, which makes it definitely unique to a lot of the other helmets that I've built from Fallout. And it is very weird in the fact that it has three knives just plastered to the forehead. So uh, today that's what we're going to build. Templates down in the description. Without further ado, let's get to building. Start off the build by downloading the free template in the description of this video and cutting out the pattern. Then trace the pattern onto your materials. I'm using 6mm EVA for a majority of the parts in this build. These 1-2-3 blocks really come in handy to hold down the foam and templates while tracing them. I added them on my affiliates page if you're interested and want to help me out by buying through my link. All the parts for the helmet base need a little heat forming. Using my heat gun, I gently warm up sections of the foam that will curve and push them over the top of a rounded object. I use a glass dome for my back porch light. Assembly is pretty simple on this build for the helmet base. It's only three pieces. Add contact cement to all the edges. Start by closing up the darts, those big wedges you see here on both sides. Then join the two halves together using the registration marks to help you line up everything. The front of the helmet follows the same steps, close up the darts and attach it to the cap. The top of the faceplate has reference marks for aligning it to the cap. It connects on the outside edges and a little in the middle. There should be a gap on both sides.
before I started adding the detail pieces, I figured it would be a smart idea to go ahead and do most of the battle damage now while I can easily reach everything. Using a stone bit, I round over the edges, add random gouges into the foam, and put scratches to add detail. Now time to build up the details. I start with adding the knife brackets for the blades to sit on. I trace all the parts onto the base, then put contact cement just in the areas to conserve material and to keep it neat. I mark a line and number them so that it will lay down in the same spot. The teeth follow the same concept. They're made out of six millimeter foam also. It's just a different type. It's known as wet the foam. It's much denser. One foam doesn't necessarily apply to all situations, so I I chose it because of its rigidity. My blades are made out of the same 6mm what the foam. Because it's so rigid, I don't even need metal supports to keep them up straight. To put them in, I cut a slot on my brackets and super glue them into place. You have to insert it really quickly for it to sit flush. I messed up on the second one and had to pull it out quickly to re-glue it. The little brackets that hold the wires are pretty simple, but they're kind of small. I start with rectangles and sand it down into the shape you see on the template. You'll need a total of four of these brackets. I added this little circular donut to the top right side of the forehead and stick on the wire brackets in their spots. My wires are 6mm EVA dowels. I drilled out some holes in the wire brackets and on the face shield where they attach to make a more secure connection. And just like with the blades, you have to be quick inserting them into place when using the super glue.
After heat sealing everything with my heat gun, I seal up the foam with two layers of Plasti Dip. Then I follow up the first layer of paint with some silver, brown, and black spray paint for an aged metal look. To grime it up a bit more, I use some black and brown Platifex paint with a watered down chip brush. Slap on the paint and cover the whole thing, then with a paper towel wipe away the high points. I do a couple of layers of this to get the build up desire effect of grime that I want. To add some real rust to this prop like I have in some of the previous builds, I apply the three-step metal rust effects for Modern Masters. Start by covering random areas with the reddish-orange primer layer. Layer 2 is the iron layer that has metal in it. Slap it on thick covering over all the primer layers, then set it to the side and let it fully dry before the last step. The third step is the rust activator spray. Wet down all the areas with this mist and let it dry. I hit it twice with mine to get all the areas rusted up like I wanted. The mask in game has some nice blood splatter on all of it so I thought why not add it to mine also. I'm using some shades of red mixed with a little brown and black to darken it up a bit. I realize dry blood is more of a brown color but it doesn't really read as blood so I'm saying that mine is kind of a semi fresh splatter. And all you have to do is just fling it onto your mask. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I, I definitely like it. It's kind of creepy in a way. Definitely um, uh, a bit of a statement piece to say the least. Definitely going to give you some uh, people looking at you weird or definitely turning heads and running away from you. Uh, I like that it's kind of like a skull almost. Uh, and how the teeth protrude on one side and there's nothing on the other. I like that asymmetricalness to it. Uh, and I also love putting rust on things, so it just kind of went with it. The blood splatter, I just threw some acrylic paint on there. It, I know people are going to say, well, if it's dry blood, it's supposed to be darker. I know, but then it just looks like a brown stain on the dill and it doesn't really read as blood. So this is what I'm going to leave it as. So partially fresh blood splatter. Maybe you will try and make this helmet yourself and impress your friends with your ability to make something super creepy that will keep social distancing no problem. I mean, I would.
Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these, tell them, much props. I mean, which, pick, pick which one? Center? Side? How about a side action? Whoa, 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 whoa.